Yeah. Hey everybody, it's me RJ, your boy. I don't usually do these kind of videos, but today I'm doing a thatching video. Power rake, whatever. Um, first thing you want to do, get a better thatcher than what I got. <laughs> this thing is all this dirt. It goes like this. <laughs> the barons are going into your place, but it doesn't matter even then. This flops. The tires look, all look, wonky. Show them right here, look. This is not supposed to give, but I've replaced them twice and they go. They just, this is how you put it up and down and you adjust that. It's stupid. Tires all wonky. The minute you get to the end, watch what happens. So you have to lift it every time it hurts your back going down far. So I just force it to do it or don't lift it. Wheels are all spaced out. That's open. Um, it was like 60 bucks or something for a belt. So I found a belt almost the same size because it doesn't matter. This thing doesn't really do anything anyway. Like it can't get any looser. Uh, so what happened, because it hits the wall. So here's what we got. Um, I pull this. It doesn't matter. It just makes it stronger. It spins the whole time. So I gotta lift it. Uh, so here's what we're doing. We're gonna clean up this mess. Um, that's just weedy type grass that died. Um, but thatch is like that. Uh, thatch is down here. Uh, you want to have about a quarter inch. Um, this one's, this will help clean up. This isn't thatch, it's like dead weedy grass, but that's just below at the root level. Um, let's go over here. You actually want a quarter inch. Here's the thatch layer. Here you go, show them. Thatch layer, okay? You want a quarter inch. There's is a little thick. It is a little thick. This happens if you bag your yard, it causes a lot of this. Everybody gets it, but when you bag, it causes it worse. Um, just mulch your yard and your thatch layer won't get overbuilt as much. Um, if you're gonna do it every three years, maybe on a yard like this, It'll help it out. As you can see, it's kind of gross. Um, a lot of people power rake it till there's no yard left. Always cut the yard first, too. A lot of people, if they call you, they try not to. Um, but cut it first, then do it. Then use machines. Um, I'm not going to thin this out till there's nothing left like other people do. So I'll take a little video pictures at the end show you. It won't look like that. It's not good for your lawn. All right? You need some thatch. No thatch no moisture layer which keeps your roots dry or wet as well as in colder weather kind of keeps a warm base or the opposite cools it in the summer or whatever okay lots of stuff nutrients all that okay your mom oh yeah here you go. they gotta see the junk okay you put that on spray this bad boy runs a choke let me make sure the fuel is on no it should start we're running right now. Hold on, everybody. You couldn't hear that, could you? Uh, yeah. Okay, stop that part. All right, everybody. So, uh, here's my hands. Dead, arthritis day. Tonight, when I wake up, my hands are gonna go like this. <laughs> and you're like, what are you? The claw! The claw! Let's see how the other hand looks. Oh my God. And I just stopped a few seconds. It's still, it's already purple, so. Here's what the mess looks like. You don't show the house. 
That's what it does. It makes a mess. So here's the cleanup time. So what you want to do is rake up some, throw in some tarps, throw it up, and what you can't run over with the bagger on your mowers and clean up the rest. Get it all spick and span. Sippy do, sippy da. I might step back on here and show you all cleaned up. If I don't, that's all I got for you. As always, I'm RJ. Seize the day, each and every day.